Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at why on a certain motion graphic, if for example we wanted to change the text color of the different athlete names within this template, why is it not working? So for example right here I've got the graphic up, I've dragged and dropped it onto my timeline. Uh, I'm on the, the uh, captions and graphics editing section at the top right here and there's certain parameters that I can change but for some reason I can change the footer color, uh, the title color, the subtitle color but I can't change the color of the athlete's name no matter what I do. So how do we go about fixing this? This is something that I took me uh, rather a long time to figure out, but I've now done it. So what we need to do is we need to open up this Mogart file, this motion graphics file in Adobe After Effects. Now, if you don't know how to get an Adobe motion graphics file to uh, an Adobe After Effects file so you can open it, then what you need to do is watch one of my other videos. But essentially, once you've got the motion graphics into an After Effects file, you want to open that After Effects file and uh, it will bring something up like this. So essentially you're on the, the default page, you'll see all of the different settings for the motion graphic and as such what we need to do is we need to go over to Window and make sure the Essential Graphics panel is up. So I just turned it off, I'm going to bring up the Essential Graphics panel um, and here we'll see all of the different customization options that is currently within this motion graphic. So you can see that I can customize the background colors, the metal colors, all of these different elements. But then if I scroll down to where the athletes are, unfortunately, there is no option to customize the actual color of that text. And it's likely that it will be the same for you and whatever motion graphic you're working with. So to fix this, all you need to do is um, on the right hand side, under the effects section, effects and presets, we need to search fill. Then there'll be a generate fill right there and we need to find the piece of text that we want to add the color option to when we're editing this in Premiere Pro. So for example, I'm currently looking at athlete, uh, let's say athlete name two. So athlete name two, I scroll down, I find that here. I'm gonna expand it out. I'm gonna go to the effects. Um, you see there's a main tint. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually drag and drop this fill effect over and on to athlete number two like that. And then it adds that to my athlete number two box. Um, now there's also an effect on my graphic right now called main tint. I'm gonna delete this because otherwise no matter what color you change stuff to, it always maps back to black, um, back to white, sorry, regardless of what color you're using. So I delete that. And then I've got my fill effect that I just added right here, color, Red, red's on the screen right now. Um, so you can also change the color in Adobe After Effects. But I'm gonna drag and drop this color box over to my athlete name right here. And basically what I've done is I've added the color changing option from here to the graphic. And then I can export this graphic um, and this fine, save it, call it a name, whatever you'd like to. Select save, then I'm gonna come back over to Premiere Pro and I'm gonna add that new graphic that I just saved and exported into Premiere Pro. So I select browse, I select the plus, then I select the um, graphic that I'm looking for. So then I simply add the graphic that I've just created into Premiere Pro. I select the plus down here, I find the file, and then I select add. It pops up right here, as you can see, 1xxx. I'm gonna add it onto the timeline. I'm gonna select it, and now, we see the athlete number two is currently red, but if I scroll down, and again, it takes a bit more time to buffer because the file size has just got a bit bigger, but if I scroll down, what you'll see is that there is now a color box for athlete number two, change the color of that. So I hope this helps you out. Thank you so much for watching. If this did save you a lot of time, please do uh, consider joining my channel to show your thanks or check out my online courses. Uh, I appreciate everyone that joins my channel for a cup of coffee a month. Take care.